Vito, Vito, what's happening, my boy? Man, I'm feeling good today, feeling good, feeling great, my boy. How you doing, man? It's another, you know, we, uh, this the trilogy. This yes, the sir. three series pack this yes, week, sir. man. Yes, sir. Post quarantine. Are we good? Everybody might good? We good? Yo, we, good? Yo, we back. We good? We good? I'm on. Well, I'm going to let you introduce yourself to the world, my brother. How you doing today, man? First and foremost, man, how you living, man? Pretty good, living good. How you doing, man? Yes, sir. The day, man. Introduce yourself to the world. Hello, world. My name is Dramatic. I like that. I like that shit. That's so, like, it's, dramatic. That's all I keep hearing <laughs> is dramatic. How did like, you come up with the name? Well, my name's Jeremy, and everybody called me Germ, okay. like, pretty much my whole life. And um, maybe on certain days, kind of dramatic, too. So that kind of <laughs> matches, you know, I kind of, you know, live up to the from? name. I'm from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Chattanooga. I got the Tennessee vibes from you. But he got the rapper vibes, <laughs> too, though. I, I'm getting rapper, I'm getting rapper vibes yeah, from man. this guy. I got the vibes like you might take my female vibe. Like, man. right, like, man. You might take my female type of vibe if we go somewhere. I ain't trying to, bro. <laughs> he said he ain't trying, but he might. <laughs> but nah, man, I like that. I like that. Dramatic got a chat time, man. Yes. So do you live in Atlanta or do you just come here? Or are you here strictly for the music right now? I'm pretty much, I, I live here too. Like, I'm here so much. Like, okay. I mean, it ain't nothing for me to be in Atlanta three, four times a week. Okay. Yeah. okay. Like, I'm, I'm constantly making the drive from Chattanooga to here. So It's only an hour and. It's like hour and 20 where yeah, I live. Easy. So, so easy. You're, you're our wild card interview this week, right? So, I'm saying wild card. We didn't listen to anything prior to us coming here. We didn't, I didn't listen to no material. So we gonna. I hope you got. I hope you bring a video with you. Yeah, I did got a video. A video yes, you? sir, I do. Okay. So what did you get? The, how did you come up with it? I know your name is Jeremy, but where did dramatic really come from? Like, how did you really come up with the name? Like, what was? Was you sitting like in the fucking corner somewhere? Like, you know what? I gotta have something because the world has to remember this. The world has to know. It has to be something. The world is gonna stick. So how did you come? That name definitely sticks. I was just trying to, you know. Think of something authentic and that kind of just represented me and like, you know, I was kind of methodical with it and I let it kind of marinate for a while and it just kind of made sense and, you know, and I just picked it. Mm. So, so are you a rapper, singer? Both. Mm. Mm. So you're not in a box. You're an artist. Oh, totally out of the box. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah I I'm, feel you. I seen a video. However I was, feel, yeah. I seen some type of material that y'all was working on and I, it almost, you had longer hair though. Uh, no. Was that clip longer hair? It had longer hair or something in that clip. Oh, yeah, yeah. I had a wig on. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm going to say, because when I see you now and I seen the clip, I'm holding, he got longer hair in the clip. Okay. Yeah, yeah that was so a wig. So you're really playing. Okay, so this is yeah. real. you really serious about this artistry then. Oh, so, definitely. So uh, you know the craziest thing about this? A lot of people think that this shit is free. <laughs> Let me just start by it. I'm just being, I'm just going to keep it 100. Oh, it ain't free. Why do you say it's not? Let me hear oh, the definition. Oh, uh, because I've dropped uh, quite a bit, you know, in my brand and investing into myself. And, you know, ain't nothing coming free in this world. And you got to pay to play sometimes. You know the importance of a budget. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. You if you don't have a budget, it ain't going to work. There you and go. If you don't plan, you plan to fail. So. so why do some people think that their talent sometimes can be so good that they don't have to put no dollars behind Delusional. <laughs> they're, delu <laughs> they're delusional, yeah. I don't think anybody's just that cold enough just to be like, oh, I don't have to do nothing. Everybody's going to do something for me, and they're going to do this, and my team's just going to magically come up. But you know, you know? 40 the 50 percent of artists think like that, right? Yeah. Like, you know, it's, it's been it's been having they've been doing tests and like they've been having certain mental scenarios. A lot of artists actually think 40 percent of them do. They think that they can make the hottest song. It's going to go viral. But I'm with you on the butt. Don't get me wrong. I'm just telling you how some of these artists really think. Like, I just heard you drop a couple thousand dollars on the video, then y'all still waiting on it. Right. Exactly. See, that's, where that's where I'm going with it, right? Like, if a other artist drop a thousand dollars on a song and he ain't got the beat back, it's like, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, they're so, going to freak out or something. Like. So when did you got to, in your head that? I really want this shit because it ain't free. It ain't cheap. It ain't this. It ain't that. You know what I mean? Taking it on like a more serious note, I've been doing music for a good 10, 11 years. Okay. And I'll tell you on a serious note for about three years, trying to just build up my catalog yeah. and like trying to just like get the vision, you know, inside my head right. and just wanting to go take action and get everything done, you know, because there's a thousand moving parts to this. Like, it's not just recording the song. Oh, nah, definitely. I uh, yeah. And Alvita, you can attest for this. Um, we've been doing this shit for what, 
together. We've been doing this for going on a year and a half now, almost two, almost two years. And a lot of artists they 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 think that they have to have the buzz first to come back and do things like this. Mm -hmm. You know, so they want the buzz first, then they come back and do interviews. You know what I mean? I seen you drop the video in March, um, and you got thirty thousand views already. On yeah, it uh. Got some pretty good traction. I was kind of pleased with it, and that's a great track. Pretty good. Oh yeah, <laughs> pretty good. I mean, the music. Scene, I mean, you 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 seem like you're gaining a lot of traction musically and with your with your fans and everything. What's the music scene like in Chattanooga to make you want to travel, you know, to Atlanta to to do music? Um, as far as the music scene in Chattanooga, it's pretty diverse, and there's like a lot of different kind of vibes and waves they got going on up mm -hmm. there, but as far as like some of the investment side of things and people having some good teams going on, it's harder to find up there. There you go. I feel there's more support systems and like, you know, people to actually working in the industry in Atlanta and it's not that far away. Right. 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 You know, right. And you, and, right. but you know that but see it seems like you know the significance of a campaign, a team, you feel me? People Absolutely. around you to get you the way you need to go. To, to get to where you're trying to be, you feel me? Yeah, because trying to do this on your own is just like, it's dang near impossible. I mean, For you sure. got to have a crew, a team that helps. And Who was who was the first person that you seen rep Tennessee to, like, the, to, the, to the best, of the, like they could possibly, who was the first person that you seen rep Tennessee the best? Um, cause I'm thinking or Chattanooga rather, cause it's a lot. Cause of I think y'all both came from Cash Nashville. Yeah, I'm thinking Cash. I'm gonna say Cash. Then you got, but don't forget you got Starlito and you got Don Starlito. Trip. Oh my God, I forgot about three six. So you really got to say Chattanooga. Ooh, three six. Yeah, three six. Uh, so who? I mean, Project like, Pat. I got a song you, with him. You got a song with Project Pat? Yo, that's oh crazy. Oh my God, why the fuck we ain't talking about that? That's crazy. How the fuck did you get a song with Project Pat? Like, how did you even get that? Um, that's crazy. That's one of my favorite. Like, Cheese and Dope is like my. All, Number three on um, uh, Mr. What album was not Mr. Getty Green. Like Project Pat was like one of my top ten all time favorite rappers. Mr. Don't play. Mr. Don't play. Number yeah. two. Or th cheese and dope. Boy knows some shit. <laughs> cheese and th hey, cheese and dope was number two. Mr. Don't play. Hell yeah. That's facts. How did you link up with Pat? Uh, my buddy Ricky Rax. Um, okay. He hooked me up with him. He's a producer. You have a video or just a song? Just a song. Okay. Um, we actually might be doing the video here in a couple months. It just okay. we got to play it out and just see how it goes. So. I'm still waiting on your answer though. Who's the first person that rep Tennessee the best to your ability that you think? <sighs> the first person. The first person to rep Tennessee. Mm. Man, I'd have to say three six. Just, three six. Yeah. I, I have to say that. I go with you. Who's the first artist that influenced you from Tennessee first? Oh, from Tennessee. Um. I would say probably them too. There you go. For the first, you know, as it's far as big. Oh it yeah, was. yeah. It was. I was Major. a big Six Mafia fan too. Actually. No, I was a big Three Six Mafia. Two World <laughs> I was in Chicago that's going the, crazy. That's the best on one. Chapter Two World Domination. That's the best album. I'm a real deep like this. Hey, Chapter Two World Domination. Matter of fact, also out of Project Pat outside of Tennessee. You remember when uh, there was when uh, they started beefing? You remember like the whole uh, yeah. Tommy Wright, like Tommy Wright, uh, Player Fly, the whole movement and all that. That's when the Yo Gotti's made a name. I think that's when the Yo Gotti's. That's yeah, Yo Gotti's one of them. Yeah, uh, that's when the independent artists I think made it because they were independent too as a group. Mm -hmm. But coming out like you're coming out now, you're coming out solo as an independent artist from Tennessee. Yep. That's dope. I like it. Yep. You're not part of. Were you a part of a group in the beginning? Uh, no, it's always just been oh, me. Solo. Yep. So let's 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 get into what you brought with us today, man. Let's see that visual today. Yes, man. sir. The one that's part this shit. All right. Let's introduce this visual, man. This is on the go from my album. Where you going? and just check it out. Let's do it. Nico bunking in the trap, yeah. Yeah, I'm on the go, always on the go. I just want y'all to know that yeah, I'm on the road, I'm staying on the road, getting everything that I'm on, I'm like I'm always on the go, no matter what I seem to do, I never seem to slow All these words I be racing all around in my head and I can never keep a job And I ain't never go to bed, that's what I said that I'm always on the go I'm always on the go I'm always on the go I'm always on the I'm road. on my knees to plead the 
God to help me get me out this situation. Cause I can never sit down, I'm always just racing and patient. And I've been beat up from these demons that I'm facing. And my heart has been blazing, and my head tat has been aching. And then you just start to feel the ground is shaking, that I slowly rumble. Y'all ain't even know that I'm just in the fucking pool. Saying what is coming to my mind, I just gotta tell you right fucking now that I'll just be fine. Cause but if I affect it, turns into a fucking hurricane Or maybe a F5 twister I'ma just get that shit anytime, anywhere You just know that I'm never quick as us I'm always on the go No matter what I seem to do, I never seem to slow All these words, I be racing all around in my head And I can never keep a job and then I never go to bed That's what I said that I'm always on the go, cause I've always got so much on my mind. I'm always on the go, yeah. All you see is red. I'm always on the go. I'm always on the go. I'm on the go. Staying on the go. Yeah, I'm always on the go. Life wants to throw me punches, but there's no I'm just ducking and dodging. I ain't never gonna fucking go down. And I got too much that's on my plate, yeah, I gotta fucking hold down. And I want y'all just to know now that I might be just fucking fiending for them drugs. I ain't needing, I don't need y'all believing anything that I'm seeing, cause I got my own vision. So I'll rip your fucking ear off and just make you do it. And stand into your fucking face and make you deal with me. And listen to everything that is just built in me I'm always on the go No matter what I seem to do, I never seem to slow All these words, I be racing all around in my head And I can never keep a job and I ain't never go to bed That's what I said that I'm always on the go 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 Oh yeah, you fucking with that Vito? I'm fucking with that. Oh yeah, that. You, so now I get it. Now yeah. I understand the story a little bit. Yeah, it makes yeah. sense now. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes now, a lot man. of sense. So the road less traveled has been the path so far. Right. And I think the path is still going. So on, on the go. That's like how you came up with the title on the go. Um, it just hit me one day. I was sitting there rotting it on the back porch, and I was like, man, this makes so much sense. I can't never sit down half the time anyway, and yeah. just. I had that feeling and I, I really, you know, try to like capture that feeling and just run with it, you know what I mean? And try not to overthink it too much and mm. it's just how it came out. We was talking off camera a little bit about some of the things that's going on and you had some input. So how do you feel about what's going on right now? Because you being an artist, I don't give a fuck what color your skin is. You have to speak on this type of thing. Mm -hmm. You could be black, brown, white, orange, yellow. I don't give a fuck. But if I think you have, a, when you go on platforms, I think every person that's an artist should kind of speak, not don't don't have to, because you don't nobody owe, you don't owe nobody shit. But if you had, if somebody told you to write a song about what's going on today, what's a few words that you would say? Like, what what would your be your, your input? I would want to try to highlight the things that's been going on and try to put it in a perspective to where someone who doesn't understand or isn't open to you know seeing a change or reform and certain things like the police or uh, the jail system stuff like that and just kind of give different perspectives to try to maybe persuade them to think right differently and bridge the gap to the ignorance yeah right yeah exactly but i i definitely feel like uh some changes need to go on and it's gonna start by you know speaking up you know and action for sure. really not even just speaking up action and yep. Yeah, we sticking together in unity. Yeah. Exactly, and I so, think more people these days are acting out of fear as well. Absolutely, it's just, it's yeah. Just so much shit I see. I think it's just out of fear. I don't even think it's. I think it's just blatantly fear. You know what I'm saying? When you get in a situation, some people crack under pressure, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I was talking about, we were talking about training and all that type of stuff. You know, you got to have training for certain situations. So as an artist, and when you have training, what's the easiest way to fall out your zone as an artist? Because this pandemic, boy, this pandemic was rough. Like, easiest way to fall out of the zone? Yeah, as an artist. Man, probably just partying and 
turning up and <laughs> just doing too much, what drinking too focused? much. A lot of things keep me focused. Like, it's just a whole, you know, plethora of things. Like, right. it's not just one thing. Like, I got a lot of things that depend on me. So so, so that, that one artist coming from a small world, Chattanooga, not small, but that one artist coming from that town that, that's trying to make it, trying to get to where you at right now, what you, what, what you want to tell them? Uh, keep grinding and uh, keep your head up and duck it when you got to and um, don't give up and it'll be good eventually. For sure. Yeah, I think you're in a good place, bro. Like, we've been doing this shit for I don't know too many artists that have 30,000 views in three months on the video. Heck yeah. Independent. That's pretty impressive. That's actually very impressive. If you go look at a couple of artists, like, think of like 30,000 views in three months during this quarantine is pretty good. You got to so whatever, you, whatever you're doing and you've been doing, keep doing it. Awesome. You know, so that's my appreciate it. That's my advice. I don't know what you kind of been doing, but uh, it's kind of hard. And I was just saying, it's kind of hard to find what's hot right now. Like, how do people go to find what's hot? But if you track them like that in three months with people not going outside, that's pretty mm-hmm. good. You're doing something right. Doing something, yeah, you're doing something. Yes. So before we get out of here, man, live hip hop deli, man, from Chat Town to the A Town, man. Yes. What's the, uh, what's what can we look for? What's the next uh? Next six months we can expect from you, man. What's from um, dramatic? What's what do we have in uh, store for the next six months? I got a project coming out in August. I don't have the date exactly set, but it's gonna be in August, probably sometime mid month, and it's called Hold My Beer. Hold my beer. Yeah. So I'm getting a Bubba Sparks vibe. Bro. That's different. I'm getting a Bubba Sparks vibe right now. <laughs> That's like, crazy. Well, how, well, how are you trying to go with this, man? You hold my beer. I heard you. I see the, the video I was shot that you ain't dropped yet. What's the what? What you trying to be the animated? Cause the on the go video was kind of like you ain't it ain't negative. It's, it's right. It's life, you know what I mean? Yeah. I I mean I uh that real country boy vibe. Like where you going with it? Just however it feels. You know that day in the studio, I just go with it. But a lot of it does come out like you know country that, that, vibes. That's natural. For sure. Like, yeah. That sound like that shit might be goddamn. It might go. It might be that hit. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit, yeah. Go. Um, you already you already got the. The beat, you are, this is already in the making? Or this is just yeah, we uh, started making it last week. I had the concept, and then we made the beat last week, and then I just put some lyrics I wanna see to this, it. As I see that video, I want to see this whole my beer video. Oh, for sure. yeah. Got to see this whole Send it to us. Video. Oh, yeah, Send I will. To for sure. No doubt. For sure. Live Hip Hop Deli, man. Before you get out here for the... What's up, man? Man, I, I feel good this week, man. I, got, I end every... My new thing on every episode is to tell them to get to the money this get week. Get to the money. Get to the money this week. If whatever you got to yeah. do... However you got to do it, get to the money this week. Let's get it. Yeah, man. And I'm about to get out here as well. My shout out to our essential workers. I know we ain't saying about that all week. Shout out to our essential workers that's still working through this pandemic, man. I should be an essential worker. You know what I mean? I'm essential. still got leader. people working, man, that, that watch us on their lunch breaks, man. I be getting texts, man. For sure. Yeah, man. And next time, we out of here live Hip Hop Daily, man. Yes, sir. Yeah.